All right, boo. So today is day 23 of the self-love challenge where we are showing ourselves a little more love and strengthening the relationship that we have with ourselves because we literally could not escape ourselves if we tried. And this body is our home and it deserves to be treated with love and respect and TLC. So I am so glad that you are here for this challenge. You already know the drill by now. Go ahead and grab your guide and let's get to your assignment for the day. For day 23, here's what you're gonna do. You are gonna get up out your seat, okay? And move that body in some way that feels good to you, any way that feels good to you. Now, this isn't about hitting the gym or running a marathon, although you could totally do that if that's what feels good to you. We must be very different if that's the case, and that's okay. <laughs> this is more about experiencing the joy and the exhilaration of moving your body and doing it in a way that makes you feel happy. So whether that's dancing around your living room and having your own little dance party, breaking it down, you know, twerking, <laughs> or doing whatever it is that you like to do. What's your signature dance move? What's your signature? signature? Jeez, I could speak, I swear. Or maybe you're just taking a walk around the neighborhood and soaking up some sunshine. You know you need some of that vitamin D and maybe even the fun kind, you know? <laughs> well, that's not what this video is about. <laughs> Let's move on. Although that is a way to move your body too. All right now, okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't think we would go in there, but whatever is fun to you, that's gonna be a fun way to move your body. You see where I'm going with this? All right, I'm sure you see it. All right, I wasn't gonna go there, but somehow we ended up there and it just feels like it was meant to be. Mm, all right. Or you could keep it really simple and super PG and just stretch your body out. Although that don't gotta be PG either. Wait a minute. Why is my mind in the gutter? Stop. Oh my gosh. Whatever that enjoyable activity is for you, you're going to get out there and do it. Because just a simple act of moving your body can improve your mood and reduce your stress and anxiety levels. Don't you need some of that? I know I need some of that. <laughs> it can improve your sleep and it can increase your energy levels and boost your stamina and endurance and all that kind of stuff. So what's it going to be for you? Are you gonna go take that walk? Are you gonna go get some laps in at the swimming pool? Do you know how to swim? Do you wanna go learn how to swim? I think I'm actually gonna go learn how to swim. <laughs> Off topic though. <laughs> Do you wanna practice some yoga? Or maybe you'll just keep it simple and chase your kid around the house and turn it into a hide and seek moment. Win-win, two birds with one stone. The kids will love it, you'll get your activity in, you'll have some memories, you'll do some bonding, like all in one. Put them kids to use. <laughs> go ahead and chase them around. They'll love it and everybody wins. Whatever it is that you choose to do, just be kind to yourself and listen to your body. And most importantly, have fun with it. Don't worry about anything else. Don't worry about how you look. Don't worry about all the excuses that you can come up with to get out of doing it. Don't worry about what anybody might say or think or feel or whatever. Just go ahead and move. Just go ahead and move and feel your body. Feel your body in motion. Feel the way it jiggles. Feel the way it sways. Feel what it's capable of. Test out the knees. You got Meg, Meg the Stallion knee. What do the kids say? <laughs> See what you're capable of. See what you can do. Move that body while you can. Because let's be real. One day, we're not going to be able to move this much. For many of us, <laughs> I hate to say it, things might already be on the decline. It might feel like some of your best days are behind you. So move that body while you can, because the longer that you go without moving it, the more likely it is that you might lose it sooner rather than later. So we don't want that. And the more that you move, the more that you'll feel connected to your body. This is your home. This is where you live. This is the body that you get. This is the body that you got. And as much as many of us may have an, an idea, an image, a fantasy in our mind of what our body might look like one day or what it used to look like that we want to look like again or whatever it is that we tell ourselves. The reality is that this is who we are and the more connected we become with this person, the more that we feel this body, <laughs> the more we can feel comfortable with this body, in this body, in our home. So appreciate the blessing that is being able to move your body, having a body, waking up this morning in this body and being able to experience this world and go ahead and move it or lose it. Like it's one of those, which one you picking? 
<laughs> Move your body while you can. Enjoy your body while you have it. Don't judge it. Don't talk badly about it. Don't be super self-conscious about it. Nothing, none of that. Uh-uh, just let your body be who it is, who she is, who it is, and embrace it, enjoy it, utilize it, explore it, get a sense of it, become familiar with it. And that's how you learn to accept it for what it is, who it is, flaws and all. All right, I'm gonna stop preaching now. I feel like I've been going on and on, but you get it, right? You get it. Now go out there and love on yourself, okay? And I will see you right back here for day 24 of the self-love challenge, Ayo. We get in there, it's, it's been a journey. And the fact that you're still here, you a real one. What can I say? The fact that you have been showing up for yourself, to love on yourself more, to deepen that relationship that you have with yourself and your body and who you truly are. You have shown up this whole time or for however long you've been showing up and hopefully doing the work. Because around here, we are all about accepting ourselves and loving ourselves and appreciating ourselves the way we are so that we can feel more and more at home in this body that we have, whatever body we have with every day that passes. So I'm so glad that you are here for this. The kind of respect I have for you, the kind of admiration I have for you, mm, mm, unmatched. See you next time, boo. Bye.